Do you know who God is? Do you know who God is? I'm talking about the Almighty Father, Holy Spirit, the only living God. In John 4, 23 to 24, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is a spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. There is only one God, as it was stated again and again in the Holy Scriptures, according to God. This one God is a Holy Spirit and soul, assume a human form in the name of Yeshua, HaMasayak, or Jesus the Christ, for mankind to see His form and to die in the cross. The atoning sacrifice for our forgiveness and salvation. The same man God also had told us that no man can see the Heavenly Father God and live except Him. In Genesis 1, 26-27, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God created He Him. Male and female created He them. According to the one Holy Spirit Almighty Creator God, we are made in His own image. Genesis 2, 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and bred into his nostrils the bread of life, and man became a living soul. We are created in the spirit image of God, became a living soul, and housed in a man's body that was formed from the dust of the ground. So we have a spirit that lives forever, keep inside a temporary body that when died, our soul sleeps. I have the spirit, soul, and body. Yet, I am one. The living creator God has a spirit, soul, and body. And he said he is the only God and there is no other. God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Is this statement proves God is two or three? No. Why? Your own body? Your spirit within your heart and your soul in your head doesn't always agree. One gets married using the decision of his love, his heart. Other decides with his mind using his brain. And another cannot control the addiction of his body. Sometimes you want to purchase something alone, talking to yourself. Which one you want? Did it make you three? You are still one person, aren't you? It is exactly the same with one God, where your image or whole self was copied. Where is God before the creation? How many, how many God there is before the creation? In the book of the secrets of Enoch, chapter 24, verse 4, For before all things were visible, I alone used to go about in the invisible things, like the sun from east to west and from west to east. In the book of the secrets of Enoch 30, verse 10, On the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create man from seven consistencies. One is placed from the earth, two is blood from the dew, three is eyes from the sun, four is bones from the stones, five is intelligence from the swiftness of the angels and the clouds, six his bends and his hair from the grass of the earth, seven his soul from my breath and from the wind. The book of the secrets of Enoch, 33, verse 3 to 5, I am self-eternal, not made with hands and without chance. My thought is my counselor, my wisdom and my word are made, and my eyes observe all things, how they stand here and tremble with terror. If I turn away my face, then all things will be destroyed. So this verse is in Enoch 24, 1, which said, For before all things were visible, I alone used to go about in the invisible things. And in Enoch 30, 10, which said, On the sixth day, I commanded my wisdom to create man, clarifies Genesis 1, 26 statement, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our own likeness. It nullifies any arguments that there is more than one God. 
Because God talked to His counselor, to His own wisdom, or His own knowledge, or by Himself alone. God Himself said that He is alone and there's no other God but Him. No man can reach God. So from Genesis to Revelation, God stated that there is only one God. And if God had said He is one, the only living Spirit, Holy God, who is meant to say that God is two or three? In 1 John 4.12, no one has ever seen God. How could anyone say God is two or three if no one in this world sees Him? In King James Version, John 5.7, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. This statement in verse 7 and 8 cannot be found in Greek manuscript before the 16th century. It was added lately to back up their doctrine and teaching of Trinity or Trinity God. And I be made the correction in 1 John 5, 6, 8. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. He did not come by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. Verse 7, For there are three that testify. Verse 8, The Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are in agreement. These verses corrected in NIB, the real truth surpasses. It says nothing about the three in God or Trinity. But remember, there are many idols or false gods, even false Jesus and false Christ who followed by the false preachers with false religion in according to the word of God. Worship God in spirit and in truth. Always thankful for everything, for God is so loving and caring that He takes good care of everything needed by every single one of His creations from the smallest to the largest. 